I'm in the process of building and designing a wood gear clock. It's been on my list of things to do for a long time. Part of the process is I need some sort of winding mechanism, winding ratchet, so we can wind up the string for the weights. And there's not a lot of information online about it. There's some, but not as much as I would have liked. So this is a simple design. This was the first prototype, the first test. And this was cut out of pine. We've got some pockets. We've got several pieces that, that go together. So this was drawn up in Inkscape. And then the first prototype looks like this. So this was the first design. This was just cut out of soft pine to see how it all goes together. And the screws are just to hold this together while I figure out if this works. And this works really well. There are no springs in here. Um, this is pine, and then I use some plastic from some rice containers. So we can go one direction, and then it locks going the other way. And it's a very, very strong lock. It'd be interesting to put a weight on it and see exactly how much that could take, but it's extremely strong. So we can go this direction, and then it locks this way. So let me open this up and show what this looks like inside. So we've taken the screws out. Those screws were just to hold this together while I kind of analyzed the way this worked. So again, we can go one direction, easy, and then it locks going the other way. So the way this looks inside is really simple. We've got a pocket that was routed out, and these little notches are where the plastic catches. Kind of looks like an impeller. As far as the plastic, I used some plastic from rice containers. These are just the cook it up in the minute rice plastic cups. Cut some slits in there. This guy sits in here. The cap goes over. And we line up we line up our indents. <clears throat> and it works really, really well. These lock and are extremely strong, much stronger than I thought, thought that they would be. This holds in the center here, so this doesn't move around. And this little lip underneath of here stays below here. And then these two are just glued together so the whole unit stays nice and, and tight. So this was the first design. Took about 50 minutes to an hour on the CNC machine to route out all this stuff. Then I wanted to see if I could make this smaller. So then we moved on to the next test. The second ratchet design is pretty similar but it's made up of thin sheets of Luan so it's much much smaller. Instead of having any pockets to cut, we're just cutting out pieces. There are no pockets here. So this will sit kind of on there. We'll have a ratchet on the inside. This will be another piece that will go on top. And then this piece glues on to that piece right there. So let me show you how that turned out. So this is the second design. A lot thinner. We use three sheets of Luan, and right now this is just temporarily double-sided taped to an escapement here, and this is part of the clock design I'm working on. But in this case, we can go this way so we can wind up, wind up our counterweight, which will be off to the right, and then as far as going the other direction, as the weight pulls down, this latches and goes that way. So we can go to the left, nice and easy, and we can go to the right. This design is the same as the first prototype in that it, it's using the plastic rice containers for the actual cogs or the locks. Um, no pockets. We've got three sheets of Luan here, and it seems to hold pretty tight. So here's our smaller one. Same theory, same design. Instead of these being real thick, they're just cut down to the thickness of one sheet of the Luan. No pocket. 
we just have three rings and this works the same way. So we go one direction and then it locks really strong going the other direction. You can't quite see the individual pieces but it's the same the exact same theory. And this one was just held together with screws and this one's been glued together with gel glue. I think that's probably about as thin as I can make this using these plastic pieces. But the cut goes really fast, only took about eight minutes on the CNC to cut this versus an hour for this. Nice and compact and light and super strong. As soon as those plastic flanges lock, lock in there. So, cool project, just part of the bigger project for this clock. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks very much for taking a look. Thank you.